the luxury and premiumization segment in India seems to be at the cusp of a golden era. 60% of the vehicle registration in India are for SUVs. Louis Vuitton, Gucci and Prada starting to open their stores in India. $8 billion industry by 2026. What is causing this luxury boom? With Diwali around the corner, we are going to see the trend of premiumization as well as the growth in luxury goods continue like it has been growing in the last 5 years. As disposable incomes in India have risen post-COVID, families across India are riding the wave of premiumization and instead of saving, the urge to spend and have a better lifestyle is seeing a strong growth across India. So in this video, we are going to understand the luxury as well as premiumization industry in India and understand what are the different stock opportunities in this sector. Private consumption right now accounts for 60% of India GDP and with this massive population and 50% working class population, we would see consumption trends especially in the premiumization segment continue to go stronger. So why is this theme interesting right now? We've seen this trend happen across decades in the world. United States in 1950s, then Germany, Japan, South Korea and China in 2000s. We've seen that as these countries reach that crucial mark of $2,000 per capita GDP, the growth rate grows at a very accelerated pace. Right now, India is at $2,500 per capita GDP and we think that we are at that crucial space where we'll see our GDP growth appreciate as well as the private consumption in India grow at a very fast pace. And this growth in luxury products is going to continue at a fast pace. According to studies, people estimate the growth of luxury goods to grow at a pace of 12 to 15 percent over the next few years, which is much faster than what you are seeing across the world. People expect the luxury industry to India to become a $8 billion industry by 2026. Among specific sectors, luxury jewelry is going to become a $2 billion industry pretty soon. In the automotive sector, we are seeing premium brands like Mercedes-Benz, BMW and Audi actually see faster growth. And also in the apparel segment, we are seeing high-end retailers and high-end fashion brands increasing their presence in India. Now, what is causing this luxury boom? So the first reason is the rising affluence. The middle class in India is rising and as they start to make more money, the demand for a better style of living as well as a demand for luxury good has increased among the middle class. Another big thing that is uh, leading to this boom is the e-commerce segment in India is booming. And especially for the middle class, the e-commerce and the OTT platforms offer the highest exposure to premiumization. And this rise in e-commerce as well as quick commerce is boosting the premiumized section in India. Another thing that is leading to growth of this segment is the government initiatives. The government has cut down import duties and simplified customs to make sure that Indians have access to the world's largest luxury goods. Now let's come to the interesting part in understanding understand the value chain of the luxury segment. So let's break down the luxury stocks in different categories. The first category of stocks is the luxury brands. Among international luxury brands, you'll see some of the biggest global brands like Louis Vuitton, Gucci and Prada starting to open their stores in India and you know building their presence in Indian luxury segment. These companies are partnering with local players in India to set up these local partners will be an interesting segment for us to look at. Among domestic brands also Titan, PC Jewelers and Raymond are shifting their offering to a more premium category. After the brands come the retailers. The retailers can be categorized into three categories. The first is the high-end department stores. Trent which owns the Zudio brand, you would have Aditya Birla Fashion and Retail which owns the lifestyle and different brands. Reliance Brands, which is trying to increase their presence in the luxury segments. After the high-end departmental stores, you'll see multi-speciality boutiques in India, which sell a mix of international as well as Indian luxury goods. Finally, you have e-commerce players. Nike Fashion, Tata Click and Amazon Luxury, which are making luxury products accessible to the wider audience. Now, the third set of players in this category are actually the manufacturers and suppliers. First, you have textile mills with companies like Raymond and Urban Fashions, which are providing high quality textile to the luxury manufacturers. Then you have jewelry manufacturers. You have companies like Geetanjali Gems and PC Jewelers, which design and sell high-end jewelry. You have watch manufacturers. You have a company like Ethos, which sells high-end brands to the Indian consumers. Finally, you have accessory manufacturers, for example, Go Colors, which sells ladies' bottom wear, as well as various companies which are selling bags, wallets, and much more. The fourth segment 
in this sector is the logistics. You have logistic providers like DHL, FedEx and Blue Dart which specialize in the logistics of these premiumization products. Finally, you have marketing and advertising. Various players come together from agencies to PR firms to influencers to market these products and people use these high-end retailers as well as e-commerce brand to market as well. Now, along with the growth of luxury products, another important trend in premiumization is the rising demand for luxury automobile. Over the last few years, 60% of the vehicle registration in India are for SUVs, which is drastically different from the trend in the last decade where hatchbacks actually had the highest penetration. Various automobile manufacturers are pivoting towards luxury vehicles. You have Tata Motors, Mahindra and Mahindra, Maruti, Hyundai and Kia Limited, which are focusing on SUVs, premium vehicles as well as EVs catering to the affluent segment. Various auto ancillaries companies like Bharat Forge, Mothers and Sumi are also catering to the components required specifically for luxury vehicles. Finally, you have luxury car dealerships like Landmark Limited, which specialize in the selling of luxury automobiles, which form a part of the segment. Another trend in the premiumization segment is the rise of luxury travel. Here you have luxury tour operators, which are gaining. You have a number of hotels, which have been seeing steady growth over the past few years. Thomas Cook as a booking agency, as well as EI Hotel, the hotel chain in the segment, have been gaining increasing popularity among customers in the recent times. You are seeing this trend in luxury cruise lines, private jets and different other luxury transportation India as well. So the luxury and premiumization segment will continue to see sustained demand in India, especially with the festive season around the corner. But this also comes with its own set of risks. First of all, the economic volatility, trends in the global market where recessionary environment or geopolitics can hit demand and have an impact on the Indian economy as well. Secondly, uh, you know, it's a very competitive industry. So different players in the industry will see fierce competition from Indian as well as international brands. And then there is a big counterfeit industry in India as well, which competes with the fashion brands in demand. So in conclusion, the luxury and premiumization segment in India seems to be at the cusp of a golden era. We are seeing the rising personal income, changing customer preferences as well as supportive policies, which will lead to a rise in per capita GDP as well as higher preference for the luxury and premium goods. With India's massive population and the rising middle class, we see this trend continue. So not only is this space a great opportunity for businesses to capitalize their growth, but investors can also make some good returns by investing into the right stocks in this segment. If you like this video, please do hit the like button, share it across with your friends and write in the comment what you would like us to talk about next. Till then, happy shopping, happy investing and a happy Diwali. Investment in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.